In this module, we're going to talk about the nematode. So can you tell us where this nematode came from? It's a very interesting story. Our University of Florida IFAS scientists went to South America, the original home of the pest mole crickets, and looked for biological control agents. And one they discovered was this nematode. They had to do safety or host specificity studies to make sure that it was safe to bring back to the United States and to release. They found out that that nematode only infests the pest mole crickets and no other organisms. So it's safe for people, for pets, and certainly for use on pastures. The history of it uh, from then went to rearing. How do you produce it? And we were able to find a company and get it produced. The University of Florida protected that company by patenting the use of this nematode and licensing the production and sale of it to that company. So now it's available to the ranchers as a product and it can be purchased seasonally to manage mole cricket populations. So this nematode sounds to be a very interesting organism. Um, how do you determine that it is effective at controlling mole crickets? Well, it's taken years of research to determine that it kills mole crickets, and we find out that it reproduces as well in the mole crickets. So the effectiveness is multiplied over time. It also took years to find out that mole crickets infect other mole crickets and multiply the effectiveness of the nematode. Uh, it, it, it takes a lot of research to understand how this microscopic worm infects a mole cricket, reproduces inside of it, and then becomes distributed throughout a pasture. And that research has been done. Suppose that I own a pasture and I think there are mole cricket problems in it. In fact, I've tested, I've sampled and found mole crickets. Now I want to get some nematodes. How do I go about that? The first step is to contact your county extension office and locate the extension livestock agent. That agent will know exactly what to do to purchase the nematodes. For example, they have to be ordered in advance, maybe a couple of months before the season. They are stored uh, at no more than, than 40 degrees for no more than a month. Lots of technical details are known by the livestock agents that the rancher can use to make sure that when they obtain the nematodes, they retain the viability of that product and it is effective in the field. So the point of contact is that county extension livestock agent. 40 degrees, that's refrigerator temperature. That's, that's not correct. freezer temperature, that's right? That's correct. In a refrigerator is just fine. And the shorter the storage period, the better. So we've got to the point that I've got nematodes in my refrigerator waiting to be applied. How do I apply them? Well, the application also is very technical. Uh, for example, the nematodes are somewhat fragile in the field. They must be protected from UV light and high temperatures. So applications are late in the day. Applications also have to be made in moist soil, in fact, beneath moist soil. This requires an application machine. We have constructed two of these and they're available on loan. So the rancher has to take care of those nematodes and get them applied beneath that moist soil to make sure they're effective. So I'm at the point where I'm ready to apply the nematodes. I want to borrow an application machine. How do I go about that? Again, you go to your county extension livestock agent. That's your point of contact. There are those two machines available only, so it's important to reserve a machine for your use in the next season. The livestock agent will help with the safe use of the equipment. We have a manual that's been developed and a certain amount of instruction is necessary and perhaps even some oversight. But we have those available and they're safe for the ranchers to use at no cost. The University of Florida IFAS has provided those. So I need to provide my own tractor? Yes, you'll have to have your own tractor. The equipment is mounted on a trailer so it can be moved from site to site behind a pickup truck. But once it's at the site, the rancher has to use their own tractor and the machines are designed to be pulled uh, behind tractors. 